Tata Steel is refusing to comment on claims that it made significant profits from a policy designed to protect the climate. Three separate experts say that Tata made hundreds of millions of pounds selling carbon emissions permits. It was given for free, all under the EU emissions trading scheme. Well, it's a controversial allegation because Tata had complained that one of the reasons it was not able to make a profit was precisely because of EU policies on climate change. Last week, of course, Tata announced it would be selling its UK steel plants, threatening thousands of jobs. Uh, let's talk now to Dr Simon Evans, who's a policy editor of the Carbon Brief website and uh, who's one of the experts who looked into Tata's use of carbon credits. Thanks for being with us. So first of all, just tell us, what, I mean, what is a, a carbon emission credit? How, what was the concept behind this scheme? So the, the idea was that uh, all of the large industry in, across Europe um, would be required to submit a permit or a carbon allowance for each tonne of carbon dioxide that they emitted. And uh, initially, in, uh, industry was given free allowances. That was because there was a, a fear that uh, they, industries like steel would suffer. Essentially, they would have to pay a carbon price and uh, industries overseas wouldn't have to. So was, therefore, you would have potentially seen what's called carbon leakage, where companies would have imported cheaper steel that, that didn't have to pay for that for that policy. Mm. So how so then you can sell them for, for large amounts of money these? Well the individual permits aren't necessarily worth large amounts of money. What, the problem came about because uh, the amount of free allowances given to the steel industry was far in excess of what they actually needed to cover their actual emissions. Um, uh, very much the largest part of the problem was the, the financial crisis which obviously no one foresaw and that caused a dip in demand and dip in industrial output and therefore companies like Tata and, and other steel companies ended up with a, an excess of allowances which because it was a market the idea was that they were able to trade those so they, they sold those for a profit. And do we know how much Tata might have made from this? So there's, there's at least two main ways that Tata may have profited from this. First of all is the excess allowances that they didn't need that they were able to sell. Um, and there, there's estimates that uh, in, uh, then, sorry, then the second main way that, they, that they've uh, potentially profited is that they could raise their prices to their customers to account for the fact that they're paying for emissions trading. Mm. And uh, estimates suggest that about half the, the cost of carbon trading was passed through to customers, even though Tata and other companies were receiving the allowances for free. So when you add up all of those things, if you look at the, uh, the, the Port Talbot site, the estimates say about 300 million since 2008. Uh, for the UK operations of Tata, about 700 million, and this is pounds. And mm. across Tata Steel Europe, um, it's all, all of its European operations, we're looking at maybe 1.4 billion. But obviously we don't know for sure because Tata hasn't, hasn't said. These and are just estimates. And as we say, that it's contra I mean, huge amounts of money then, potentially. Uh, and it's controversial because, you know, the demise of Tata Steel or the problems of Tata Steel have been partly blamed on EU rules. Well, yes, th there's been... Uh, Certainly last year when, when Tata announced, uh, I think it was 1,200 job losses, their, their European chairman pointed to uh, climate policy, not just EU climate policy, but UK-specific policies uh, that were causing high energy costs. Um, it is true that the UK has higher energy costs for industrial users than, than many other European competitors, but in total um, we estimate that about 1% or in fact less than 1% of the production costs faced by Tata in the UK are a result of, of green policies. Mm. All right, well, good to talk to you, and thank you for explaining all that. Uh, Dr Simon Evans there from uh, Carbon Brief website. Thank you. Thank you.